and welcome back to my channel. My name's Amy and we are in Kent and today we are on the allotment plot. I've already got dirty hands. Um, I've got my kneeler, which I always forget, but um, my gloves and some seeds. Um, so today what I'm going to be doing is sowing um, mostly flowers actually that are going to overwinter in the greenhouse and then be ready to put out um, sort of early next year, like in the spring. Um, I have also got some sort of calendula that these are going to go straight in the ground uh, and I'll show you where I'm going to put them and what else have I got? Some nigella I'm going to do some more wild rocket. Um, I've sown some of this at home, but it just doesn't seem to be doing anything. Um, and also, I've got some violas which are going to go in the, the greenhouse as well. I thought I had more seeds. I don't know if Mum's taken them and sown them somewhere else at home, maybe. Or they might be in the. Ah, wait a minute, I've just spotted them in the greenhouse. Here they all are. I thought there was some more. So we've got some Gypsophilia, some more Calendula, these are Snow Princess, some Foxgloves, some more Sweet Rocket, some Sweet William, some Delphiniums. I've actually saved some delphinium seeds as well from home. I had a really big purple one um, and I've got so many seeds from it so I'm going to try and sow them as well. I've got this daisy which is a goliath mixed. That's another sweet william and some sweet peas. So all of them are going to be sown in the greenhouse and hopefully overwintered and uh, I'll have some beautiful flowers next year. So this is the plan. These two beds, there's two sort of beds. I've got some calendula here, I've got a little lavender here, and then I've got a big sage plant here. Uh, there's also a couple of um, sunflowers and a pot there with some nigella in which I can move out. Um, but the rest of it I'm going to pull out. Uh, because it has just been left really. I was leaving it to see, oh I've got some sweet rocket here as well. I was leaving it to see what would grow because I put loads of seeds in last year and I didn't know if any of them would self seed. So I sort of left it but I think it is still stuff that I don't want. So um, yeah the idea is I'm going to fill this with the calendula seeds and then probably, I might just fill the whole thing with calendula. I was going to put some borage in but I might put that somewhere else. I actually want more calendula than anything else so I might literally just fill this with calendula. But we use this uh, old table that was left on one of our plots um, as like a potting table really because um, it's a bit grim for actually sitting at um, and we've got another nicer one anyway. So I've got my trays out and I've put the seed packets in each one where I'm going to plant them. Uh, this one has got some red leaved basil in, uh, which some is only just coming through actually. I thought these ones had given up, but um, I'm going to pot them on as well into um, slightly bigger pots uh, and then use the rest of this for some sweet rocket. Um, yeah, so I need to fill them with compost and um, so some of them. I've also got my little labels. Uh, and I did have a pen, I'll oh, see it, a sharpie for writing on them. Yeah, so let's get started. Hey, 
So I've just done like one of these half trays with the delphiniums um, because I'm not sure if these will overwinter or not um, because you're supposed to sow them February, March, April. Uh, so I might be sowing them a little bit early, but <clears throat> I'm going to try it, see what happens. And then I've saved some of the seeds and I will sow some in February as well. But see if we can get a little bit of a, a head start with these ones. All the treasures that can travel I'll fix the wheel and all the axles See another day Believe in come what may But it's not his to sell to me And it's not mine to buy Hey, won't you come along with me I hear a mister's voice is calling Soon the country all around me Will come to look the same There's a place from where I came. So I've put them all in here. Um, put the red leaf basil. These are really good to keep. These are um, mushroom that we buy the mushrooms in. So I just keep them and then I can just fill them with water and uh, they're great for keeping them nice and hydrated. And I've just taken this uh, garden mint out of the greenhouse uh, that started back in March it took forever to get going and now it's uh, doing really well obviously it needs to be planted out but I don't want to put it in the ground because it does have a tendency to take over so I've got some nice big pots on the other plot uh, like big round terracotta ones uh, I'm going to put it in there I think and let it just uh, fill that whole um, pot up it smells amazing so I've got some of these pots that we had some sweet peas in and what I'm going to do, the sweet peas have obviously come out now, um, I'm going to do a cheeky little sewing of these, uh, the Paris Market 5 Atlas. So they're just small little carrots so they'll grow fine in there. It does say to sew up until July but we're going to give it a go um, and see if we can get a little harvest of those. Chloe on the uh, in the allotment pot with me today although she's been sitting up here doing her drawing of a woodpecker and Chloe mm -hmm. <laughs> she's on a different plot to where I've just been uh, she just phoned me what did you see a rat a what a rat how big normal sized normal sized <laughs> so there was a rat apparently where was it there. Literally just there. So it comes through, we've seen, someone's seen it before, so it comes through under there and it comes from that uh, block because I've got a lot of stuff all dumped at the end. So it has a little field day in there, but it's been seen going over there before. So uh, yeah, I've not seen it yet. I'm not, not in any rush to either. So I'm going to pick some uh, plums. That one's quite hard actually. Come on, put your whole weight on that, Mum. Please don't. Ooh! Mum, okay. you're gonna fall through that chair. No, not. James and the giant peach up here. They're plums. Where is it rubbish? It's in here. So that was today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.